very heated conversation here, talking about how far some women will go to earn a good living. Um, if you look at the panel, things have changed a bit. I think um, we really got going here. And um, Michael and, and Jesse have switched positions. Apparently, you don't want to sit next to Renita, Renita, Renita over here. So, I want to keep things a little more little calm. calm. Let me also say that, that when I made the statement about making my job on my feet, not on my back, that was not a, a direct hit at you, but I did mean what I say. That is my life. That is my life story, and I did that because of desperate times myself. But I know that upsets you. Um, but what prompted me to say that was listening to you make a general, a general, general type of statement there, Michael, and I had to defend well, the other side of executive women, okay? Yeah. That's all. Okay, come on. Um, how much money are you making? Is it really worth it? Yes, it is worth it. It is worth it because, you know, when, when you don't have enough food to take care of all of your children, you can't, you know, they're, they wind up getting evicted because they can't pay their rent, you know, and, and we're, we're just one paycheck away from the same situation, and especially with my daughter's medical situation. Yes, sir, it is. How about how much do you make, though? Can you give a figure? I, ma I make a lot more than I would make working in an office. Well, or a couple office jobs, yeah. or two or three office jobs. I, I could work two or three jobs and still not be able to make enough to take care of my And family. Jordan, what about you? Can you give us a figure of about how much you make a night? No, I, same as Sarah, I make a lot of money. I make triple what you would make at a daycare job. Okay, I, I'm still not getting an understanding of what that means. But clearly, y'all don't want to say a, a specific figure, okay? <laughs> All right, but more than what you normally would be able to make. A lot uh, there are obviously laws that govern the state, and but I still think there should be laws that governs a person's character and their moral conduct. Uh, the woman's body, that's a temple of life. That's a vessel that we all came here from. Exactly. I don't think it should be for rent. Yeah. I don't think it should be for sale. I don't think it should be for someone's recreation. I mean, yes, we all fall upon hard times, but you have to be creative. You have to be ambitious. You have to get out there and do what you have to. Try being creative in a state that has very, very few jobs. It's a very sparse state, and there are very few jobs. And regardless of all of your judgmental, you know, I, I can see how, how the audience feels. And, you know, I understand that you're being very judgmental, but I am a human being. But, Rolanda, this is what I'm saying. She's saying it's very hard. My mother is a black woman, which is very hard back in well, her well, days. Well, let, let me get this yeah. right. It is hard for any Everybody, woman, exactly. okay? But it's extremely Not just hard for, black, for a black woman like my mother to raise five women on her own. We had to eat franks and beans. You know, but she's this still, I can understand times are hard, and I can understand about your child being sick. I can sympathize with that. But that is not an excuse for you to just do what you do. That's it's an not excuse. An excuse. It's, it's, a excuse. Job. it's a legal I make, business. I it's an excuse. Make a choice. It's an excuse. It is a legal it's job, an and that's, I it's choose to do this. So it's I okay. And it from is the not audience. An excuse. It's a job. From the audience. For Jordan, I worked in Topless Bar for five to seven years. I've never met a topless dancer that does not enjoy working as a topless dancer. I'm You're not gonna, I didn't enjoy it. Hold on a second. You're telling me you're just doing it for the money and not for the fun of it? If this is what I'm supposed to understand? I Do you enjoy it? Completely. I have a good time at my occupation, but I also do it for money, too. Okay. We had yeah, also yeah, asked... Let, let, let me clear. Let me just make a statement and try to make, some, make you people understand a little bit, okay? was invited to Nevada to dance in one of the topless clubs out there. But all the topless clubs out there, all the girls are hookers. Okay, I'm sorry, but they are. No, no, I, no, no I have friends. friends. That's, that, not, that's true. not true. Well, that okay, but he was born and raised there. Even and if it's I not so much the truth, what, we're here, what I hear it's you saying is, there. quiet please, what I hear you saying is that if, and if it's not true, that is your perception, and that is where your daughter was headed. She was also invited to another club where the girls are hookers, okay? She knows where I'm talking I'm not going to mention any names. She knows where I'm talking about. That's where I draw the line, okay? I have to accept this, okay? I have to accept the reason. I, I have to accept this. Why do you have to accept it? Why do you have to accept it? I Why does add something. It's very easy. I'm let not... your mom answer that okay. question, sweetheart. Why do you have to because accept this? Because I've already lost. I've already lost one daughter by telling her that I didn't approve of what she was doing. Okay, she left three and a half years ago. I haven't seen her since. 
She hasn't called me. She hasn't talked to me. She doesn't want anything to do with me because I told her that what she was doing was not right. You know. So she left because she couldn't handle it. You know, and I've I been cannot talking. Even, I cannot even. I can't even think about losing another daughter. Do you see how much your mother loves you? You, you have to be. It you hurts have to be her in my so shoes much. To understand this, okay? I mean, the audience is going to say, "Well, look, you know, I mean." Exert some right. control over her. Tell her to do this. Tell her to do that. But you know what? I'm a mom, too. And I've been talking to you and your daughter in the green room, and you have a wonderful daughter. And you, she you are a good, good girl. I know she's a good girl. You've instilled wonderful and I know values that she, in her. When she gets to work, she we calls will. me to let me know that she's okay. Okay. All I right? want to continue gets, this. I want to continue this. She calls me to let me know that she's okay. okay. This is every night that she works. Okay. We have to take a break right now, and when we come back, I know that we'd asked you a question earlier that we never let you answer, and I also want you to respond. We'll get back to that, but I want you to respond to this because your mom loves you so much, and it's so painful to see her in such pain. So when we come back, we've got to soothe mom just a little bit, okay? We'll be right back.